Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know how to add toolbars to taskbar. To this in right click on any open space on your tool on your taskbar like this. And if there is no empty space, you need to uh, put your cursor on the clock and uh, click right click on the uh, on your mouse. You will be uh, this window opens up, and here in the top is toolbars. If you put your cursor on the toolbars, a list of uh, four different toolbars is available here. And the first one is address. If I click on this uh, toolbar, a check would be added in, in front of it, and a toolbar and the taskbar would be uh, added in the form of an address bar, like the one you see on your web browser. And uh, here, at this position, if you uh, write a part of a folder or file on your computer or add a URL uh, and then hit the enter button on your keyboard, it will take you to their destination. For example, I want to uh, go to a folder on my D drive, so I add things like this backslash, and then I add, you see here is a list of different folders and my D drive. So if I click on this, uh, the first one, it takes me directly to their folder. And on the other hand, if you add a URL to uh, this uh, address bar, for example, I add www.youtube.com backslash at Safi Mixed. This is in fact the URL of my channel. If I click enter on my keyboard, it will directly open my channel on my default browser. So here is my channel. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Safi Mixed. So you can access a folder file or anything else on your computer through this address bar or can access my or can access to any URL uh, by typing the URL in this address bar. Now if I go back come to the toolbars you see a check in front of address bar has added. If I click again this uh, toolbar would be removed from my taskbar and uh, similarly I can add Another toolbar, uh, if I click on this, it would add the quick, uh, it will add the toolbar HP support assistant quick access to quick access, but I don't want to check this. And similarly, there is links toolbar. If I click on this, it will add a toolbar to the links. And this toolbar, in fact, contains the contents of Edge or Internet Explorer links folder, but I'm not using any of them as my default browser, so uh, the contents in this uh, folder will not be shown. And if I click on the desktop, it will add a toolbar for the desktop, and you see the toolbar uh, to the taskbar has added to the desktop, and there is double arrows. If I click on this double arrow, it will show all the contents icons I have saved to my uh, desktop. Uh, folder here is my network control panel and all those things that are on my desktop so i can access directly to the icons on my desktop from this toolbar now again i go back to the same menu and uh, i click on the toolbars and you see here is a check in front of the desktop so uh, that means the desktop toolbar uh, has been added to a taskbar now there is another very good thing that is custom toolbar if i click on this it would open a window like this and here i can add a folder or a drive or a file uh, whatever I add over here, the toolbar correspond to that um, thing would be added. For example, I check the um, disk drive, local disk drive F, and then I uh, click on select. You see here, the local disk uh, F has been added to the taskbar. And again, if I click on the double arrow, it will show me the contents of the um, I have saved on the drive. Uh, the, this way you can add uh, toolbars to taskbar. You can add custom toolbar. You can add the default toolbar like address bar, desktop, links, etc. And then if you haven't just subscribed to Safi Mix, kindly support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and also the like button on the video. Thanks for watching.